Hey, I'm Ivy and welcome back. So here I am in my lovely yellow attic. This attic is not long for this world. I am actually gonna be moving this summer, I'm gonna have an entirely new setup somewhere, um, which is part of why today's setup is a little, uh, you know, less than stellar, but I have my lights on. Hopefully this doesn't look too terrible for your viewing pleasure. So today I have returned from my somewhat indefinite YouTube hiatus. There will be more videos coming, just probably not until I move or we'll see. I make no promises, but I'm back today to talk about a brand called Merit. I talked about this brand in my last video, which was a few months ago, and I mentioned the foundation stick, which was the only product at that time that I had tried from the brand. I wasn't too kind about my experience with the foundation stick. I ended up revisiting that product and I'm very glad that I did because it ended up working out much better for me this time around. Sometimes you just need to go back to things that you tried and they might surprise you. And that's what that was my experience with this product. I changed some things in my skincare routine. I added more moisture to my base and now I actually love that product. That used to be the only product that I had ever tried from Merit. Then they launched their signature lipsticks. These sort of took over the internet. A lot of people were talking about them. A lot of people were raving about them. I definitely fell prey to the hype. I wanted to try it and I bought myself one of the shades. It's again, a product that's kind of surprised me. It's deceptively simple. It is a moisturizing lipstick, but it has a surprising amount of staying power in a way that I really enjoy these for everyday wear, much more so than other moisturizing lipsticks that I have in my collection. They also have a lovely shade range that definitely appeals to me and works with so many of my makeup looks. And then Merit, reached out and said that they would send me two products of theirs to share, of which I could choose. This was very exciting as I was sort of like dipping my toes back into this world. I am now the proud owner of three of their signature lipsticks because I got one additional one in the products that they sent me and then I bought another one. I um, got one of their blush shades. I then got a second blush shade from them and I have one of their tinted lip oils. So. The theme of this video is going to be that things didn't start out great with this brand and now they're just going swimmingly. I love their products for everyday makeup. I'm gonna demo a few things throughout this video for you that I have, including the foundation stick, including the signature lip, their tinted lip oil, and one of their blushes. So I wanna say thank you to Merit for offering to send me products to try out. I never review anything that I'm not an actual fan of. Um, or if I am not a fan of something, I will give you my honest opinion on it. I have no obligation to review. I'm not being paid. This isn't sponsored. I will have an affiliate link in the box below in case you decide you'd like to try Merit. There is absolutely no pressure to use it, no pressure to try the brand. But if you are looking for core minimalist kind of makeup essentials, I think there are definitely pieces within this brand that you might really enjoy. So I've just applied a layer of the Merit Perfecting Foundation Stick and I'm going to eat my words on my last video. I basically bashed this product. It is unfortunate. I did have repeated difficulty with it, so I don't exactly blame past Ivy for 
hating it so much. What I discovered upon more recent usage is that my skincare routine has changed, my skin prep before makeup has changed. I'm infusing a lot more moisture into my routine, probably three times as moisturized now before using makeup as I was previously. So that's made a big difference in my usage of this product. I did suspect after seeing everyone just rave about it so much that it seemed like maybe it was a problem with me, that it was a user error. So I have found since I started doing more moisturization that applying this product has been actually a joy. It's been extremely seamless to blend in. It's given me great coverage. It hasn't sat in fine lines. It's given me that really natural look that Merit has sort of stood by as part of their their core beauty ethos and I have really enjoyed applying it with their number one foundation brush. This is a super beautiful soft dense foundation buffing brush. If you don't already have um, a brush that's similar like this like more of that flat top um, with a thick dense amount of bristles this is a wonderful one to pick up. So it's perfect for putting in a makeup bag, it's really easy to use and it just feels lovely on the day-to-day -day basis. Between the stick and the brush and the added moisture into my routine, I'm feeling a lot better about this product and I'm super excited because it means I get to use it up and I may even repurchase it. I also um, used a little of the Dior Backstage Concealer. I've been still testing this out. It's super popular right now. It has the little brush applicator. I think the shade I have is a little dark. I would probably, if I were to repurchase this at some point, get a slightly lighter shade but I've still been able to make it work and it's expensive so I'm not going to buy another shade right now I'm just going to make this work for me but I do really love the consistency and I love how it works paired with the Merit foundation stick um, so that's sort of my base for today <music> So I just applied the shade Terracotta in the Flush Bomb Cheek Color by Merit all over my cheeks. And while I'm talking to you about it, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of powder as well. This is the Cloud Set by Kosas. I'm just a little sheeny, sheenier than I would like to be at this very moment. So I'm just blotting out some of the shine. What I enjoy about these blushes is that they are a little bit sticky because they're a little bit sticky, don't get me wrong, they're not super sticky, they have staying power. The two shades that I have are Beverly Hills and Terracotta, and I wouldn't say that either are like so pigmented that you can easily overdo them. I think that's a real plus for a lot of people, especially people that might be drawn to the Merit makeup line, which is that you can apply blush, you don't really have to worry about walking away and looking like a clown. <laughs> you can very easily apply quite a bit of this and still get a very soft, natural look. If you like a really heavy blush, these might be a little softer than you would would like. You might want more pigment, but if you're like a natural blush person, if you want something super easy to throw on the cheeks that has that staying power, this is a really great option. Um, I use the shade Terracotta probably more than anything, but the shade Beverly Hills is also beautiful. Actually, let me go grab that. This is the shade Beverly Hills. As you can see side by side, there, you know, one is pinker and peachier and one is a little bit browner. When I'm doing a very like neutral look, I definitely lean towards this. And when I want a bit of um, pop on my cheeks, I reach for this. I feel like they're pretty simple products. They're very basic. They were very thoughtful about the packaging and the shape of the applicator. It's extremely easy to apply. And I feel like for most people that are just looking for simple, easy makeup to run out the door, something like this would be absolutely perfect. The 
last thing that I have for Merit to talk about are their lip products. So I have now three, <laughs> three of their lip colors. Should be evidence enough that I really like this product. What I put on my lips today is the shade Tiger, and then I went over top of that with their uh, tinted lip oil in Marrakesh. The other shades that I have of the signature lip are the shade 1990, which is more of like a brown, um, like a true brown, although it's very light on the lips. And then I have the shade Cabo, which is a very beautiful kind of orangey red. And again, they all have this beautiful formula where they are very moisturizing and they are super easy to apply, but they again have a little bit of that stickiness so that I find they have actual staying power. Now, I don't think they're gonna last all day, um, but they might surprise you in how long they actually do last. Yeah, I've been very much enjoying these lip colors. The lip oil or the uh, tinted lip oil in Marrakesh, so this is the only shade that I have of the tinted lip oil, but I have to say, wow, this feels incredible on the lips. It is so smooth and so beautiful to wear. Um, I'm not a huge lip gloss person, even though I probably have a quite a few in my in my collection. I usually reach for a lipstick or a matte lipstick. For me to reach for something like this over and over again since I got it says, again, a lot about how well it's formulated. It just feels incredible to wear. The one thing that I think I can compare it to are the tinted lip oils that are from Kosas. It's pretty similar, although I have to say I think that I like this formulation better than the Kosas ones. I haven't tried any of the other shades, so I can't speak to, you know, how the range really holds up, but this shade Marrakesh is absolutely beautiful. One little important thing that I think you should know, you get this adorable, beautiful gold corduroy fabric bag. It's really cute. It's so cute. And I think their intent is that you keep your makeup in here. Now, I, for the sake of this video, put my Merit products in here. I have more makeup than fits in this bag. I'm, I want, I'm like that girl that wants to be a minimalist super bad, but is secretly, not so secretly, not a minimalist. Anyway, this is my attempt at looking like a minimal girl is using this bag. It's a lovely bag, and if you do decide to place an order with them and you get a bag, I think you'll you'll really enjoy it. I love this makeup bag, and I do think it's super nice of them to send that along if you do get a couple of products. I want to thank you so much for watching and for sticking around here if you have while I have been on this little hiatus. Again, we are moving, so things are just very in flux at the moment, but I'm still really excited about this space and being able to share more about beauty with you, brands that I love, products that I love, applications that I love. Do me a favor and try and stick around, even though I might be gone for a little while. I want to say thank you again to Merit Beauty for sending me a few of their products to try out. I am clearly a big fan. I have a lot of their products now in my collection, and I legitimately am using them every day. That is the honest-to-goodness truth. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll stick around for the next one, and thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.